I want to target this arm. There's a lot of ways to do that. I'll demonstrate three ways just real quick. We're going to focus on one. If I can break this away and pull it to here, switch down, go to the side, I drop, and I've got a straight arm like this one. Okay? Make sense? Yes, sir. sir. If, by the way, if I can't, it's holding on really tight. Bink, right? <laughs> or bink, or up. I can also thumb in the eye, all those things. Yeah. Trust me, this hand will suddenly let go, right? And then I can do whatever I want. So again, there's sometimes there's ways for self-defense that you can do that. You got rules, you're training in the school. You got rules if you're in a tournament, let's not gouge eyes. They, get, they take that as being rude, it's not good. All right, number two, right? If I can, I wanna break this off. Right now, I'm going to move down and hold this again. And this time, this hand goes in, and I've got a shoulder lock. Okay, if I can, I want the elbow to be bent here, and I want this to be in that position. I like omoplata. Right, all right, pretty cool. You can do these from the ground as well. By the way, the reason why jujitsu on the ground works so well is we can immobilize the body. I'm not immobilizing his body. I have to use speed to get to the lock. Does that make sense? Yes, the last one, this is the one I want to talk about. I love this throw. It's actually a, it's really an arm bar, but it's a takedown as well. I'm gonna hold on, pin this to my body. I'm gonna throw my knee up to his body. Then when I drop, I gotta kick my foot over to that side. I'm gonna turn him just a little bit so everybody can see. Hold this tight, I'm gonna hold this tight. He goes in the body, I drop, and then I get here. And I've got an arm lock, okay? 